So I do the whole, hey guys, welcome to Flurn? Yep. Right on. Hey guys, welcome to Flurn. Juicy Kicks. What? I don't know what I'm saying here. <laughs> So the whole concept for this shoot, basically we were looking online for inspiration and we saw a lot of pictures of shoes, mostly athletic shoes, that had uh, kind of like really cool art with them. A lot of like splashes of, you know, paint and colors and things like that going on. Uh, most of them were just purely graphic. Like there was a photo of a shoe and then in like Photoshop, they had just taken like a paint splatter and put it on the background or made it look like the shoe was kind of turning into the splatter. And uh, we all really liked those images, but we thought maybe we could take it like a slightly different way. And instead of just doing it all in Photoshop, we could just do it for real. So after we came up with a rough idea, we had a rough sketch and uh, decided we wanted the shoes to actually be splashing into paint, different colors of paint. Uh, we need to figure out how do you actually do that. So to get from just like, oh, that sounds cool, to being able to actually photograph it um, takes a few steps. So first thing we did is we figured out we would probably have to have the shoes kind of like splashing in some paint. And so what we did is we built like a little pool, basically just some two by fours screwed together with a tarp right around it. And uh, you can fill it with liquid and things like that. The tarp will hold things inside of it. So we built a little pool to help everything come in together. And then we need to figure out a way to basically have the shoes fall in the same place over and over again. Changing into a man right in front of your eyes. Oh, I know. It's gone. I don't know, what do you think? I, I mean, I kind of like the idea of having it come in and that way it would, but I, I want it to be, uh, I'm trying to figure out how to rotate it here, yeah. I mean, we could just put the stand over here because I, I want to photograph it coming from this way, you know what I mean? So basically what we did was we attached the shoes to a mini boom with just a clamp and someone was on the other end just basically like lifting up and putting down one end of the boom, which the other end was lifting up and being put down in the liquid. So the shoe is pretty much predictably being able to drop in the same place every time. So the lighting was a little bit tricky on this. Uh, one of the reasons is because we had to do so many things uh, with, at the same time, especially the gradient between white and black. So we wanted the paint really to fade to black, which means we're not using a lot of large light sources here. We're using smaller light sources because we want them pretty much aimed right at the white paint. Up until now, uh, the main goal was just getting the lighting right on the shoe itself with the shoe moving. So everything is stationary. Camera's gonna stay the same. Uh, the lights are all gonna stay the same. Uh, we've got, we're backlighting this shot with uh, a couple of these strip boxes here that are just gonna provide a nice like even light on the back of the shoe. And then we're also using front lights here with grids just to like pop a little bit of contrast into the front just to make it a little bit more interesting. But we want the light to kind of like fade away. So back towards the end of the pool, we really don't want the light to hit uh, because we want it to fade to black in the final shot. So that's why we're using grids and small soft boxes. We're not using anything huge because it would light the entire pool. So everything is going to be a bit smaller. And from here, basically what we're going to be doing is uh, taking our little mechanism here and just raising and lowering the shoe, photographing it at a lot of different ang angles. Then we're gonna fill the pool and as it splashes, we're gonna take pictures and then we're gonna be able to composite those with our clean shots of the shoe itself. Um, so it's gonna be pretty fun. We needed to also make sure that the shoe itself didn't get really messed up in between each take. And we were actually using real paint for this. So how do you get a shoe uh, to splash in real paint over and over and over again without it just completely being covered in paint? 
and uh, that's where our friend the Never Wet comes into play. So the camera settings in this is relatively simple. We were shooting at one over one sixtieth of a second for basically every single shot. I did want a lot in focus. This is not something where, you know, the splashes or the shoes going out of focus. We didn't want that. We want really to focus on how beautiful these shoes are. So we're shooting it anywhere from 14 to F16 to really keep a lot of things in focus. And we're shooting at a really low ISO as well because we are pumping all the light into the scene itself. Um, so we're basically finishing up with photographing uh, one of the shoes that had the never wet on it. And now we're photographing the other shoe that is brand new and clean. Um, the only problem is they are a pair, so one's left side, one's right side, so it will have to be flipped. Uh, you could, we could have just bought two pairs of the shoe and just not had to worry about that. But basically I'll be photographing this and working at a lot of different angles here, so we can hopefully have something that's gonna wind up matching the hero shot from the other shoe. So I can use this shoe and the splash from when this shoe was splashing in. So the combination of those two should yield us a really nice result. So after getting the white splashes with the shoe, we need to get yellow and purple splashes as well. And that just, it was just fun. I mean, there's just trial and error, get, grabbing different containers and cutting things up and making different, you know, ways to pour paint. And um, in the end, we just wound up using a paint bucket and scooping up some paint and kind of like flicking our wrists and allowing it to come out. So uh, that was basically the same thing. We set up a pin just, you know, over the pool that we were actually photographing. We set up a pin so we could lock our focus down and then try to actually like have the splashes go right over top of the pin. So instead of having to worry about focus, uh, we just locked our focus back into manual focus. And as long as the splash was happening pretty much on the same focal plane as the pin, you knew you'd be relatively in focus. So the lighting didn't change a whole lot. It was just mainly getting the focus right and then taking a picture right when that splash happened every single time. Ready? Do it. Do it like. What? That's really what he was doing. That's what I was saying. On a shoot like this, a good team is really, really important. And we had a pretty big team, which is great. Um, but sometimes when you're photographing models, a big team is not exactly what you want because, you know, 10 people telling a person what to do, the person can get really confused. But when you're photographing shoes, the shoes aren't going to get confused. So it's actually a really good time to have a lot of people on set. We had people monitoring, um, you know, we're shooting tethered so people could monitor the shots actually coming in. We had people controlling the splash. We had people, you know, doing both types of splashes. We had people taking pictures. We had people moving lights. And each one of these people was totally integral. And they also switched jobs, like, you know, halfway through, like, oh, cool, I wanna try doing this splash. So it was just kind of like kept the excitement going and each person was able to do a little bit of the different jobs. Cause it, it really wasn't on a specific time restraint and you know we weren't working with a, a model who's gonna you know get tired and things like that so being able to like rotate it around um, it worked really well as a team because everyone felt like they had a little bit of piece of everything during the entire shoot and uh, just made for a really fun time. Oh, <laughs> oh,